today's Iron Talk, we'll discuss variable rate population and exactly how to set those rates. We all know that in some areas of our farm, we can plant a higher plant population and get more yield. In other areas of the farm, we also know that we need to lower plant populations or we run into trouble. It's the same with various corn hybrids or varieties of other crops that we plant. Some respond differently than others to higher or lower plant populations. So what's the answer? Using variable plant populations across each field is a simple way to address this problem. Here's an idea of how you can easily figure how to set the population rates for corn. In areas where the yield is less than 100 bushels per acre, there are things that are more important than plant population to adjust, so this advice may not be most important for you. But with disclaimers aside, here we go. Take a yield map for one field, stack several yield maps up for that same field over the years if you'd like, and take your average corn yield and divide it by your plant population in thousands. Say for example, you had 210 bushel corn in one part of the field consistently, and you normally plant a 30,000 population. Well, 210 divided by 30 equals 7. And I use this example because depending on your yield zone, the factor of 7 hits many farmers pretty close to right on. Certainly, there will be fields and areas within fields that you get 300 bushels on a 30,000 population, or 10 bushels per each 1,000 plants, and there will also be some that you'll only get 5 bushels per 1,000 plants. So check out a few areas of your farm and see how you come out. Then use that factor to set your maps up again for this year. Now, if poor areas of that same field were yielding 175 bushels, for example, instead of 210, We'll take 175 divided by 7 to get a target population of 25,000. Once you get above 300 bushel yields or below 100, your figures may change. But in the meantime, good luck as you set variable populations for 2020. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.